Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com and as you may or may not know, iOS 7.1 has finally landed and unlike a lot of dot updates, there are a few changes that you will notice straight away and I wanted to run through some of the main ones. Now firstly, if you look at user interface and design changes on the software front, you'll notice straight away that a lot of changes have been done to change it to be more circular less rounded rectangles and you'll see this most obviously when you go to power your device off so if I go to switch it off now instead of having a rectangle slide to power off you'll see I now have a long uh, I guess a long oval shape or a long well definitely a rounder shape that's fair to say and you've got the power logo and a round cancel button you'll also notice that if I'm going to accept a call um, this occurs on regular voice calls or FaceTime calls. You will now get a much more circular interface when you receive a phone call. So I'm just going to make that call now and you'll see accept and decline are now small circular icons. So I'll just decline that, cancel the call. So you'll see that in a few places. Next big change I guess is to the way you use Siri. Now Siri in the past you press and you hold the home button and you speak and then it listens automatically and can tell when you've stopped speaking and then it will try and understand what you've tried to say. But now with Siri what you do is you press and hold the button and speak and then when you let go it knows you've finished. So just to give you an example I'm going to press and hold the home button. How many goals has Gareth Bale scored this season? And as soon as I let go of the home button, it starts to search. And then it will give me the information that I want. Now Siri also has some other changes in that in the UK. You, may, you won't notice it in the States because this has been there for a little while. But in the UK and in a couple of other countries, Siri now has a much better and more natural voice. So if I go into my settings, and go into Siri in the UK... I can now choose a male or a female voice. So now if I do the same thing again, the voice is going to be female. How many goals has Gareth Bale scored this season? Gareth Bale has 10 goals this season. So now I have a female voice. And you can choose between them in the UK, which is quite an, a nifty feature for us. Another one that's worth noting, again, is a user interface change. If I go into the stock calendar app, you'll see you've got the whole month view here. But what you can do now, which you didn't have before with the iOS 7 calendar app, was the option to show events at the bottom. So if I tap this little icon here, I now have uh, events at the bottom. So depending on which day I go to, as you'll see my events are here. I've got a list of events and you'll see them at the bottom, but then you can switch them off again. So it's, it gives you that option that you didn't have before. Uh, if I now go into the camera app on the IO iPhone 5S, sorry, you now have automatic HDR switched on. And now what that means is for photographers, when you're in harsh light conditions, like there's lots of shadow, lots of bright light, it helps to balance the light out and create an HDR image which you had to switch on or off before but now there is an automatic mode. Last but not least you may notice that when I switch in between apps I don't get that horrible animation and that's something that's been around since iOS 7. I could change it to reduce the motion and there's a settings uh, option in accessibility that lets you reduce motion blur and that was because some people were getting sick uh, from it apparently motion sickness but but for me, it was just because I didn't like it. So if I go into general accessibility, you'll see that the reduced motion option is there. But it actually includes a lot more than it used to. Uh, instead of just being transitions between apps, you can now see that it's changed. When you go to the multitasking menu, it didn't have that before. Also, if I go into messages, you'll notice that if I go start trying to scroll through, um, it's actually not anywhere near as bouncy and annoying as it was before. So switching into mail, um, so switch, going into messages and actually reading through a conversation, 
isn't as bouncy as it used to be. That it just kind of stops itself. And that is the same in the weather app. It's also, when you reduce the motion, it applies to the weather app. There's not as much motion involved here either. So it just kind of stops instead of bouncing like it used to. And also, if you go back to the list, again, it's not as much motion as there used to be before. So there are some of the main changes. There are other ones that I have noticed. They're not as major. So those have been the main, most noticeable changes. Um, you might notice a couple of other things. I'm going to do another video maybe tomorrow showing some of the stuff that's not so obvious uh, that's changed in iOS 7.1. But for now, if you have any questions, um, feel free to get hold of me on Twitter. I'm at TIP underscore Cam. And also uh, leave comments in the comment section if you don't have Twitter. I'm more than happy to read through those and see uh, how many questions you may have. Uh, but again, I will see you again soon.